Hi everybody, I'm back and I'm going to be doing a couple quick reviews, hopefully quick. Um, I had trouble uploading these earlier, so I had, uh, this is my fourth time as a charm, so let's get going. Uh, first of all, I'm going to be doing like cleaning your brushes 101, so I found some new products that are pretty awesome to clean your brushes and they're inexpensive and they're just fabulous. So I thought I would go over that. And then I found another some, another product. Anthony bought me some stuff for Va Valentine's Day. So let's get going and I will show you what it is. So first of all, it's um, Eyes, Lips, and Face ELF um, for the cleaning of your brushes. Um, this bag is full of e ELF products because he knows that I love them now and I have um, another box coming and yeah so a lot of my um, packages have been held up due to the snow but da 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 because they're in the on the west coast or east coast anyway so the ELF um, is a daily brush cleanser and it says uh, directions after using your brush spray several times over the brush bristles gently wipe brush onto a clean cloth I use this to remove makeup, allow brush to fully air dry before next use. Repeat daily or as often as necessary for best results. Now, I believe that you need to keep your brushes clean. Otherwise, you'll get acne. You can spread bacteria. It's just really bad. And it's all around gross just to have dirty brushes, dirty makeup. You guys know I can't stand that. So, uh, most of my brushes are already clean because I did a review and cleaned them during the review. But I did find a couple that were not so pretty looking so here's one of them and I will show you real quick um, I have one product here this is uh, bl blender cleanser and this is from Sephora it's about twenty dollars solid now this is for like a deep cleansing um, you would want to do like every two weeks to wash all your brushes and instead of just um, I'm going to start washing my brushes after I use them each time, but this one is for a deep cleansing, so it has like a soap dish, um, soap, and then it has a little drainer, as you can see. I don't want the water to drip on the computer. Um, so you take your brush that's dirty. This is so. This is for the deep cleaning, and you get it wet in a thing of water and rub it around and around and around and around on the grate and until you get this all the grit and grub off and imagine you're at a sink you know where you can rinse this off and then you just take it and it's all soapy and you dip it in the water and you'll see how look at the water is just really gross so this is like primer painterly for Mac it's basically on this brush um, and it's just gross I can't stand it and that's my New Year's resolution basically I'm gonna wash my brushes every day I just after I found this product it's awesome so then you just take it and dry it and then you wanna either lay it down or stand it upright in like some sand or beads to dry so that is for the deep cleaning um, you can get it at Sephora it's about twenty dollars but it's well worth the money I've had this probably over a year and that's how much is gone it's crazy but it works really good so I use this for the deep cleaning of my brushes and then my husband bought me this and I was just tickled pink this is for daily um, eyes lips and face and this is daily brush cleanser and it's like a dollar or two it's crazy I could go back and buy about four of them and just keep them in my vanity and what you do with this is, uh, let me try and find one that's a little bit soiled. I'll try this pink one. This one has a little bit of lipstick on it. Uh, let me dry it off. It's a little bit wet. So you can see how it used to be white and it's got like pink. I think it's Nicki Minaj, that color. The old, yeah, Nicki Minaj. So this says to spray four times. Um, with this spray so I spray each side four times and it smells really fresh it smells like cucumbers actually I don't know if this will take this the pink stain off or not um, it doesn't look like it is but it is getting the brush clean so that's all that matters just so you won't spread acne or anything and you want to you have to keep your brushes clean and you, all your makeup you want to wipe the lids and you don't want your foundations and stuff and your lipsticks to look all gross and especially once you see what what I have coming an order that is coming is crazy expensive we split the price but it is just 
beautiful and to die for. You guys are going to die when you see this. But anyway, so yeah, that's um, the eyes, lips, and face um, daily cleaning ritual that you go through. Just spray it after you have all your makeup on. And I wear this now. Um, it's really cute. I got this in a box. This was about all that was good that was in the box, a Q box. I just saved this. Um, it's very soft. Sometimes I sleep in it at night to keep my hair out of my face and stuff. But it's good when you're applying your makeup and then you just take it off and your hair's done and you're ready to go out the door. So, um, yeah. Um, I cleaned this brush. This one had a lot of painterly on it. It still has a little bit more. I'll spray, spray some more eyes, lips, and face on it. I did this one with the deep cleaning. Um, now, the painterly from MAC is very hard to remove anyway if you don't keep them clean in the first place. And, I, yeah, I was guilty of that. I didn't uh, keep these brushes real, real immaculate. But my New Year's resolution is to keep them clean. So, anyway, you can see by just spraying that how clean it got it. It's crazy. It's like a new brush. So, these two, and they smell like cucumbers. It's crazy. They smell really clean and I just really love it so um, yeah this is a mucky water just from one brush so I would say basically to keep all your brushes um, like here's a thicker one this one's really wet um, let's try this one like a foundation brush take you know you can take your eyes eyes lips and face and just spray spray it on here like this just turn it over four times and then take your paper towel and rub it back and forth um, and it comes out immaculate now there's no no uh, foundation or anything because I already uploaded the program so most of the, the makeup is already washed off but anyway this gives you a good idea of how clean it gets everything I mean look at that brush it's insanely clean and yeah you just don't have to worry about spreading germs or anything now I need to clean this whole container of bushy brushes these are a little bit more less fun shall I say but um so yeah I cleaned all these brushes today um, this was the new one out of the glossy box so yeah I just wanted to review this real quick the elf um, daily brush cleanser and this is just easy it's in a spray bottle it smells really fresh um, and all you have to do you can clean any of your brushes anything so I love I love this Anthony made a great choice with picking this out just because he knows I'm always complaining about oh I can't stand how dirty you know I don't like dirty brushes and he remembered so he picked this out and I was like that good job honey you did a great job so um, you probably want to pick up several of these or a dollar or two and then go to Sephora and get the one for deep cleaning. You know, um, the one, this uh, beauty, blend, be beauty, what is it, blender cleanser solid. It's about $20 and it lasts about a year. I am not kidding you. For deep cleaning of your brushes and then just either lay them down on a clean towel or... Um, store them upright, you know, in a candle dish. Now this needs to be clean. It's, I grabbed it from the sink because I knew I had to do another upload. So anyway, um, that is a product that I really, really like. Um, and then last, let me uh, show you one more brush that's not looking real good. Um, we'll take this one. I use, it. The, everything's wet, so it's kind of hard. Um, I'll try, I'll show you the solid beauty cleanser, the one that you want to use every two weeks. You just go round and round and round and round, get it wet, and it's got that little grate on the bottom. Get it real soapy. See how soapy it is? And then just take it, rinse it with water. Now, I would normally uh, use clean water, but I'm not by a sink. I know this looks really gross, but this water is just, it's just primer. So, and then just dry it off, and you're good to go. So, um, and then usually what I what I'm gonna do is spray it with the Elf after I do the deep cleaning. So yeah, it's just amazing stuff. I would definitely tell you guys to go out and buy some for two or three dollars. It's worth every penny. I mean, these brushes are immaculate. So. Uh, probably 50 more to go, but 
anyway, at least I got a good start. Um, let's see how it does on a thick, here's a real heavy brush. This is from Bare Minerals. Um, that's how I apply my mineral foundation. Let me take this out of the box. I don't know why I put it back in the box since I'm planning on keeping it. Anyway, it smells like cucumbers. It smells really good. Kind of reminds me of summer. I don't know. And then I have some other new, just brand brand new launch e.l.f. products. And I cannot believe I ordered. It's like a cream blush. Um, it's I think it's called HD Studio. And I ordered one online last night. It was like $7.95 and then shipping. And I saw it at Walmart. I was like, you got to be kidding me for 2 or $3. So I bought a different color so I can show you what it looks like. I'm wearing it now, if you're wondering, because my blush just looks beautiful. And I've had it on for hours. That's why I wanted to um, upload it earlier and come back on and show you how well it works. Now, that's how much I've used. Not much at all. So um, you want to just take your brush. You see I sprayed it. This should have tons of foundation on it. And muck. Just, yeah, you can see the muck coming off. Just rub it. You would probably normally want to use a towel. Um, I grabbed about six paper towels and folded them up. And um, just dry the ferrule off. Make sure it's not all sticky. Dry the ends off. And then you want to just squeeze the water out. And yeah, there you go. And usually I take it like this, kind of fluff it out. And there's the clean brush. So there's Brushes 101 for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, um, go ahead and ask. And I will answer those for you. So for now, I'm going to let those dry there. Hopefully they don't. Probably not a good idea. They'll get my vanity wet. So I will set them here for now. Anyway, so pick that up at Sephora. Um, it may not even be $20, maybe it was 15 but it's worth every penny. And especially when you spend, you know, $50 on a good brush, you really want to treat them your best. So that's what I have to say about brushes. So let's go on with what else Anthony got me. He's got me some really cool stuff. Now this is the HD blush, and it's uh, super pigmented, rich pigmented color. It's in in the cutest packaging, and this one's called Superstar. Um, let me take it out of the packaging. It's really pretty. You can see the name, Superstar. This was the last one at Walmart. I could not believe it. It says new up here. They, the girl that I, I watched a re review, and she said um, that, she, that they weren't even out in stores, and I was like, okay. So I placed an order, and I saw them at Walmart today. But the one that I ordered is more of a light pink. You guys know that that's the color I like. It's more of a kind of a pinky blush like the Archie's Girls. It's kind of a pinky blush color like that, the heart color. So um, that's only it's obviously a cream, but let me show you how pigmented this on pigmented this is. Now most of my brushes are wet at the moment um, since I did uh, try and upload that. Now I can't get this out of the box. So Anthony happened to know we were shopping and he was just like throwing stuff in the cart and he threw this in the cart and. He knew I wanted it in all the colors except the real dark burgundy. So here's what it looks like. It's a really pretty color. This one's called Superstar. And so you just take the lid off and it has a little pump. And you want to use your hand as a palette and just take it and just put a, the tiniest little amount. Now if you are not, let me make sure I have my e.l.f. brush. Um, he bought me a new brush too. Oh, I'm spilling stuff down at my feet. If you haven't noticed, I've really depurged de de this room. I just I cannot stand the mess, and I'm really going through stuff and getting rid of stuff like crazy. Now, please tell me I can find that brush that you bought me. And it does not look like it is in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, here it is. Okay. So you can see it's still a little bit pink. The ends are white because um, I didn't get want to get this one wet because I was still doing a review. I'm glad I didn't uh, get it wet because my upload did not upload. It was like going to take three hours. So you want to get the tiniest minute amount. It is so pigmented. I'm talking like that much. 
it would take forever to use this container. I'm not kidding you. So then you take this the e.l.f. Uh, small stipple brush. And you have to work quick because it's a cream blush. So um, you just want to stipple it on your hand. And you can already see how pigmented that is. It's crazy. Um, I may have to put some more on. But then you just stipple it on your cheeks. And it's beautiful. Just kind of in an upward motion. And if you um, happen to flub up, this is not for somebody that's not very experienced with makeup. Certainly it isn't. Because if you mess up, oh my gosh, if you get too much on, it is a nightmare to get off. I'm not kidding you. But um, it's just a beautiful color. I The Superstar I really like. I think it looks great with the the um, the Viva Glam lipstick that I'm wearing. Excuse my bangs are not doing so good tonight. Uh, anyway, so let me put a little bit more. I think that was what actually wasn't enough. So, yeah, put a little bit more about like that. You can see the dot. And then just take it, stip, take it on the brush, and then take it to a different part of your hand and stipple it out. And you can actually put this on your lips and use it in two places so your blush matches your lips. And it holds it's it holds crazy long I'm not kidding you but it is so 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 pigmented so um, let me do the other cheek and you just um, you don't want to sweep it on like normal blush because you will just get way too much um, now being on camera you always need more you know makeup but you can see just how beautiful it is it goes on great it costs like I think it's like three dollars if you buy it it's a store now if you order it of course it's worth its weight in gold I'm not kidding you and then you want to probably just take um what I did was after I applied the blush I think it's at a perfect tone it matches my lipstick um, I want to blend it in a little bit more so what I'm going to do is real quick I want to make this a quick video um, I think that's perfect. Now the color that I have coming is gorgeous. I am not kidding you. It's that light pink color. Um, I love the packaging. It's just really cute. So yeah, it's called um, Elf HD Blush. And I don't know where I got the studio. HD Studio. I'm almost sure that's what it's called. But anyway. So the blush um, and I was going to apply this over it this came in my last elf box this is the mineral glow and this kind of um, what it does is blend helps blend it in but you have to work quick so yeah that's the thing with um, any kind of makeups they're moving to creams and getting away from powders and it's just getting very very complicated to even apply them you have to know what you're doing and yeah, it's crazy. So um, I do have a brush. I'm going to use this big one. So I'm just going to go in a circle and tap it off. And then just kind of apply it over the blush. And it gives it a sparkle and blends it in. And it just looks beautiful. Go underneath, kind of down your decollete. And it's gorgeous. Once you go down your nose, up on your forehead around now mind you I've had this makeup on all day and I'm wearing all elf makeup except the foundation I don't have any foundation on but so yeah there's the blush I just think it's absolutely beautiful so I think you guys should rush out and get yourself some it is really 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 good stuff I mean look at that I'm not going to put any on my lips because obviously I have um, the Viva Glam on which I love so yeah I'm really falling in love with elf products I can't believe it um, that you can buy them at Walmart for three dollars but anyway so yeah it's well worth trying you could certainly even if you just got the brush cleaner I think that was three dollars so we got me that the brush cleaner um, you got me the blush and and then I was like I ordered this last night online that's crazy but they were out of it at the store anyway this was the last one out of all the colors so I just grabbed this one that's how popular it is the lady said we can't keep these on the shelves 
So I got this stipple brush while I was there. I'm going to wash this one too. Um, I suppose I could spray it with the spray and you guys can see how, how it works. Let's see if it takes the pink off. I doubt it because this is so pigmented. Um, but at least it, um, at least you can see the pink coming off, but at least it will have, I'll have a clean brush. And I'm going to do this every time. My Norton is popping up. Do not do that. That's what happened last time. And my video didn't upload. So anyway, there it is. It did not take the pink off, but we know that it's clean. It did get it pretty white. So yeah, um, you can't beat, I'm, and it just makes you feel good. Like I told my husband, I said, you can't be beautiful if your brushes and your makeup aren't beautiful. And he's like, that's true. That's very true. So anyway, that's um, that. And then he got me, let's see, some foundation, which I'm going to try tomorrow. This is from the brush. And then I have a Hello Fresh box that's sitting at the post office. Now, I was sure I canceled that. I'm hoping this is like a free blog because um, this is like food, like meat and stuff sitting at the post office where he works. It's on a pallet somewhere. So, yeah, I'm hoping it's got ice in it. You know, the big, they pack it in big ice packs. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. Anyway, this is Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20, um, and it's in Nude. I didn't know what color. I just kind of held it up next to my hand. Since I don't have any, um, I need something until I get my bare minerals. So I just held this up to my hand, the color. Let me try and wipe that off. I can't stand. You can see how hard it is to get it off. Um, look. You, can, you can't even wipe this off your hand. It's crazy. It's kind of making me wonder how the blush is going to come off. But the blush is not on that dark. You want to make sure that you do, don't do apply like stripes. But I just think it's absolutely beautiful with the pink. I have a pink uh, shirt coming too that I ordered from, from Amazon. I think I told you guys about. Um, I think this will look beautiful with. Anyway, so yeah, it won't even wipe off my hand. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get that off. So yeah, there it is, still there. Anyway, so here, let's swatch this uh, tinted moisturizer, and that will be it for this review. Um, it's very liquidy, so it's like a BB cream, I assume. Um, I've never tried Elf um, products at all, so it's very creamy. Uh, obviously, um, I don't know if. Let me try. I like to put it on with my fingers, um, especially since I have all wet brushes and I just wash them. Let's see if it covers up the pink. That'll tell us kind of how good a foundation it is. It feels creamy going on my hand. Um, the only problem with liquid foundations is it does kind of go go right straight to your wrinkles. That's kind of why I like Bare Minerals. I am getting up there in age. I do put a little bit under underneath my eyes just for dark circles. It works really good. Um, but yeah, so it doesn't exactly look like the right color, but it did. Ooh, a hair. It did kind of get rid of the um, the pigments you know still on my hand so I don't know that looks like it may be a little dark and then he got me some of these I absolutely love these at ha uh, Halloween Valentine's Day I thought they were heart shaped he got me some blow pops a whole box full these are cherry I wish my subscribers were here I'd give everybody a lollipop I would these are awesome I love them and then it's funny, I got that lollipop eyeliner today, and I didn't even swatch that. What was I thinking? I was going to grab my glossy box. I didn't even swatch that for you guys. I was like, I didn't. What was I thinking? And that was the prettiest um, packaging, too. It's pink. So I know this is a separate, this is glossy box, but I didn't swatch it for you. Um, close your eyes, go dancing, lollipops, Paris. Wow, how cool is that? So it's like you dial it up from the bottom. It's self-sharpening. 
and then um, I can put some on my, underneath my eyes. It goes on like cream. Wow. It's amazing. And then I learned a trick with winging your eyeliner out. They said to make three dots right along the edge. You know, there, a little bit further out, there, and there. And then you want to connect the dots. And it makes winging your eye eyeliner out easier. Um, so you don't kind of have it all over the place. But that's how well that goes on. Really creamy. And I'll do a swatch on my hand. So yeah, that's really nice. Really nice. Um, the harder you push, of course, more... So there it is, a swatch of it. Now I pushed really light. Um, you push harder, you're going to get a darker line or thicker. So there is the lollipops. And I'm going to, of course, wipe that off. I cannot stand messed up makeup, especially as cute as this is. Wait till you see what is coming. This will go perfect with it. I know you're thinking, what? It's just liner. But wait till you see. It'll make more sense when you, once you see what's coming. Anyway, so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, get out and get some of that makeup remover. Just keep your brushes, keep everything clean, and it will keep your breakouts to a minimum. I'm telling you, I don't think I broke out for years just because I keep my brushes just immaculate. I mean, it doesn't look that bad sitting on your vanity. You can always, you know, um, here is a... Uh, something from Mimi Box. You can empty this out. It's blue. Um, aqua exfoliator for the body. Shake it up. I'm not sure what it's for. Um, anyway, empty it out. You could always put some in this. Fill it up. Buy about four of them. You know, so it doesn't look so tacky. And put this on your. I'm not that it looks tacky, but just so it's on your vanity and so it looks nicer. And then just before you're you know, go out the door, take all four or five of your brushes that you've used, just give them a good squirt four or five times, and then just take a, a Kleenex that you have there, wipe them down, and uh, set them back in your container to dry, and you're good to go. So the next time you go to use them, they're clean. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions um, on this blush. And the one that I, I ordered is called, I think it's called Highlighter. And it's it's almost identical to the Archie's Girls blush, um, which I don't use because I don't want to ruin it. But it's almost identical to the hearts in the center. It's more of a pinky pink. I love it. And the one that I got that I had to get at the store is more of a kind of a corally color, but it's still beautiful. And this one is called, um, what is it called? Let me set my glossy box down. And this one is called, my husband kind of does Valentine's Day like he does Christmas. He just goes overboard. It's crazy roses, chocolates. Just a wonderful man. Anyway, this one is called Superstar. So I like to put them back in the container. I don't know why. Um, just until I know that it's going to work. And yeah, so that's, there it is. Superstar um, HD blush. The best. Try it. Give it a try. I mean, Dior, all of them, hands down. It is fabulous. And if I lift my hair up, you can see just how, you know, if I wore like an updo, twisted, whatever. Um, you know, that's when you want to make sure your blush is defined. And look at how good that looks. It looks perfect. So, yeah. This side's got a little bit more, um, which you can always take a brush and uh, touch it up. You know, just take the mineral uh, glow and just go in a circle and kind of touch it up. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I will get this uploaded, and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully, with the HelloFresh. I'm hoping it was a, a free review because I didn't order it and I wasn't planning on it. It's rather expensive for three meals. But anyway, I will see you all later. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up. Sub, sub, sub. Love you all. And I will get this uploaded and I will see you all later. And be sure to get out and get this. If you can't get it, order it because it's going to be gone. I am not kidding. So just go to Elf. 
eyes, lips, and face dot com, ELF dot com, and you will see the different. There's baked blushes, but try this blush. You will never go back to anything else. I don't think I will. I really love it. I think it's beautiful. And on my Instagram channel, I put some on, and I bent down, and and you can't even tell I'm bending down in the photo. It's 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 almost not. I'm not bragging. It's a beautiful photo, though. If you go to my Instagram and look at it. But anyway, so I will let you guys go. Um, thanks for watching. Love you all. Sub sub sub. Thumbs up, and I will see you later. And I will get this uploaded and see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.